Hello. Hello. Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. How are you today? I'm fine. The, this is my last day in work. Oh, and because then you're free morning. for the weekend. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. And because for, uh, uh, the Monday I start my new show only the day. Oh, okay. Good. That's good. So welcome. Welcome. Mm -hmm. um, hello, Laura. How are you today, Laura? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm fine. Mama. Okay. I'm tired of work because of the traffic, but now we are home. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. The good thing is that you are at home now. Okay, welcome, um, welcome Laura, welcome Adolfo, and welcome Jacqueline. How are you today, Jacqueline? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I rest all day today. Oh, nice. So you are very, very um, well rested today then. Yes, teacher. Oh, and nice. I'm happy for that. <laughs> oh that's good that's good that's good yeah that's good okay so um welcome everyone so uh i know it's friday and i know some of you uh, are like well i should go to sleep but i know you make it to today's class and that's good okay that's good that you are here and that means that we are going to learn a lot today and I know there are some classmates uh, who are not going to join us tonight for, uh, for some reasons that they know. Okay, but thank you. Thank you that you are right here uh, with me. And we are going to continue learning today. A uh, topic that we started yesterday. Okay, uh, I'm, going to, um, I'm going to start sharing my screen vamos a ver voy a compartir pantalla in this moment all right all right can you see my screen yes, yes. See. okay good that's good okay good good very good all right so um today today we're going to talk about polite requests what is a request Mm -hmm. when you ask to someone uh, something something uh, like a favor ah good that's a good answer when you ask someone for a favor good good okay so let me ask you uh, the following question what are some requests what are some common requests that you make uh, or that you ask in a daily basics? Okay, let's say something that you usually request. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué sería? Can you help me? Mm. Can you help me? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Can I have coffee? Please. Oh, can I have coffee? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Good. ¿Qué más? Do you know something? Oh, do you know something? Okay. Uh huh. Good. What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Can you do the laundry? Oh, can you do the laundry? Okay. What about in your office? or in your workplace, what kind of requests you hear people people requesting? What kind of requests? Can I get a hamburger, teacher? <laughs> Can I get a hamburger, teacher? Okay, good. What else? Can you forward the email for me? Oh, can you forward the email for me, please? Okay, good, good. 
What else? Mm -hmm. What else? ¿Qué otro requests can we hear in our workplace? Uh, let me know the status of the request, please. Mm, let me know about the status of my request. Okay, good. Good. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, today we're going to be um, we're going to be learning how to request informal and polite request. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And then we are going to practice. Okay. We are going to practice. What is the objective that I have for you today? Uh, students will be able to practice. Uh, you are going to be able to practice the language making informal and polite requests. Okay. So al finalizar la clase, you're going to be uh, making informal and polite requests. Okay. Okay. Yesterday, we were talking about uh, um, two parts of phrasal verbs. Do you remember that we were talking about phrasal verbs yesterday? ¿Se acuerdan? Yes. Do yes. you remember? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. So, in order to start with our classes today, uh, I want you to uh, to remember, or, or we are going, or we all together are going to review uh, our previous learning or what we learned yesterday. And um, there is a right here. It says, "Tell a sentence using a phrasal verb." Tell a sentence using a phrasal verb. Okay, as you can see here, we have uh, clean up, hang up, pick up, put away, take out, throw out, turn off, and turn on. What I want you to do is the following. I want you to create or tell me one sentence using either clean up, hang up, cualquiera de estos con, con the given uh, expressions that we have here. For example, miren mi ejemplo. Vamos a ver. Look my example. Mm, let me see. Okay. My example will be, my example will be, um, take, take out the, the garbage. Okay. Garbage. That's my example. What about yours? Okay, dígame un ejemplo suyo, por favor. Mm -hmm. Turn on Turn the microwave. Laptop. Okay, uh, Miguel. Turn on the microwave. Okay, turn on the microwave. Thank you. Who else? Turn off your laptop. Turn off your laptop. Good. Thank you. Good example, Laura. Mm -hmm. Clean up your shoes. Oh, clean up your shoes. Okay. Welcome, Miriam. Good, mm -hmm. good evening. Good, good evening. <laughs> Welcome. Good example. Vamos Pick a ver. up the magazines. What is it? Pick up the magazines. Pick up the magazines. Good. Good example, Adolfo. Thank you. Another example. Would you like to uh, take out the, the garbage? Oh, would you like to take out the garbage? Okay, good. You're being polite. Good. What else? I, I don't know, but I can say clean up the mess. Uh -huh. Clean correct? up the mess. See, see. Yes. You can say clean okay. up the mess. Good example. Vamos a ver. What about the towels? What about the towels? Probably hand, hand the up. Towels. Hmm? I can use pick up with the towels. And okay, pick up hang the up. towels. Mm -hmm. Hang up. Put away. Hang up the towel, put away. Uh-huh. Uh 
Can I use um? Can when, I use when take when the the towels is clean? Uh, mm -hmm. I I know, but I can use take out because it's for uh, guardar. But in, take out. In you mean put away. You mean put away. Okay. Put okay. Away. Okay. Can I use take out with the towels? Take out. Can I take it? Imagine. Okay. Imagine if, uh, let's say, uh, somebody is doing the laundry and the towel is inside the bathroom. Yes. Hey, take out the towels from the bathroom. Mm -hmm. See? In that case, yes. Okay? Good. All right. So today we're going to do something very fun today. We are going to talk about our favorite hobby. Okay. So think about what your favorite hobby is. Okay. Okay. ¿Cuál es su hobby uh, favorito? Escríbanme en el chat, por favor. ¿Cuál es su favorite hobby? Okay. Your favorite hobby. Vamos. Vamos a ver. In my case, it's um. Let me see. Hobby. Oh. Mm. BV. Oh, uh, no, no, no. It's run. Uh, go running. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, watch movies. Swim. Okay. Vamos a ver quién más. ¿Quién más? Go to the gym. Okay, good, Adolfo. Uh-huh. What else? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? What is your favorite hobby? Carlos Membreño says, I like run. Okay, good. Vamos a ver. Miriam Yvonne, uh, my favorite hobby is watch TV with my family. Oh, you too, Carlos Membreño? Wow, you like running like me and also like, uh, like, like Carlos. Good, good. I like go running. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a ver, Laura. Go out with my family. All right. ¿Cuál fue, ¿Cuál fue mi hobby, el que dije? Vamos a ver. ¿Cuál fue mi hobby, el que dije? What is my hobby? Run. ¿Ah? Running, right? Okay. Your hobby is go running. Ajá, go running. Okay, Brian says, I like to exercise. Good. Okay. What are we going to do now? See? Now, we are going to work with this short activity. And listen, instead of saying my name, instead of saying where I live, instead of saying I am, uh, my years old, and I work in, you are going to say your favorite hobby. Por ejemplo, my name is Pedro Go Running. Mm -hmm. I live in Go Running. I am Go Running years old, and I work in Go Running. <laughs> Okay, vamos a ver. Now it's your turn. Ahora es su turno. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Who wants to say it? Ah, okay, teacher. My name is Watch TV. Uh -huh. I live in Watch TV. Uh -huh. I am Watch TV years old and I work in Watch TV. Oh, good. Good. Okay. Thank you. It's okay? Uh -huh. Yes, perfect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay. 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 My name. My name is Watch Movies. I am living <laughs> Watch Movies. I am Watch Movies years old, and I work in Watch Movies. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Who else? Quem más? Quem más? Me, Laura. Laura. Laura, and then I escuché alguien más diciendo Adolfo. Ah, Adolfo. Okay. Laura, and then Adolfo. Yes, Laura. My name is Laura. Go out with my family. <laughs> I live in go out with my family. I am um, go out with my family. Yours all. I work in go out with my family. Oh, nice. So welcome. Uh, go out with your family. Okay, welcome. Welcome to the class. <laughs> okay, uh, Adolfo. My name is go to the gym. I live in go to the gym. I am go to the gym years old. I'm working go to the gym. <laughs> okay. So welcome. Uh, go to the gym. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. All right. Quem mais? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Uh, let me see. Who else? I need volunteer. This is just for fun. Okay. 
Fatima. Fatima, okay, Fatima. Mm, my name is Plant Cactus. I live <laughs> in Plant Cactus. I am Plant Cactus yourself. And I work in Plant Cactus. Okay, welcome, or Plant cacti. Cactus. Cactus or Cactus? Cactus, Cactus. Mm -hmm. Cactus. Well, cactus. if you are talking about only one, yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Okay, one more, just one more. Who wants to say it? Me, teacher, Jacqueline. Okay. Jacqueline, go ahead, Jacqueline. My name is Watch Series on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I live Watch Series on Netflix. I am Watch Series on Netflix years old. And mm -hmm. I work in Watch in Series on Netflix, teacher. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's for... a tongue twister, teacher. It is. It is a tongue twister. I like say my name is Go Running. I live in Go Running. I am Go Running years old and I work in Go Running. See? There you go. <laughs> okay, thank you for participating. Okay. Ayer, ayer remember that um, yesterday, uh, what did we do yesterday? Well, basically, we were talking about phrasal verbs. Today, we are going to talk about what? Some reasonable requests. These are some requests that, uh, what, that you do in a regular day. For example, look, for example, uh, number one, who wants to read number one? Me, Miriam, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Miriam. Okay, only number one. Yeah, only number one. Just read it. Okay, okay. Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? Okay, good. Number two. Who wants to read number two? A volunteer? Yeah. Okay. Can you turn the music down, please? Thank you. Number three. Volunteer. Would you mind mm -hmm. closing the door? Would you mind? Would you mind closing the door behind? Ah, okay. Huh? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Number four. Will you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking space? Oh, thank you. Uh, and number five. Would five? you mean not putting your garbage in the, in the hallway? Thank you. Okay. See, these are some examples of requests. So now I will ask you to match the number, the question, the requests, with the letters. For example, hagamos el primero. Could you, could you please tell me the next time you have a party? A, B, C, D, or E? What do you think? I think it's E. Letter e. Vamos a ver. Letter, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Yes, letter E. Good. I would like Good to make sure I'm not at home. Oh, okay. No, that, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. No worries. Okay. Okay. Could, uh, all right. What about, what about, um, what about number two? Can you turn number the music two. down, please? I think the answer is the letter C. Letter C. Vamos a ver, let's see. Yes, letter C. The walls are really thin. ¿Qué es thin? ¿Qué es thin? What is thin? Ah, Delgado. que las son muy, Delgadito. Muy las paredes delgadas. están delgadas. Okay? The walls are really thin, so the sound goes through my to my apartment. Good. Number three. Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? Letter B. Letter D. Vamos a ver. Letter B. 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 Okay. B. 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 Yes. B. Yes. We don't want strangers to enter the building. Good. Number four. Would you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking spaces? Letter? letter D. 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 Letter D. 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 Yes. Good. Letter D. And the last one, it's letter... Letter A. Yeah. Would you mind not putting your garbage in the hallway? Okay. Good. 
All right. So listen, when we have, a, when we want to request, uh, especially if, if we know the people who, who we are asking for a favor, we just go and say, for example, please, a request, right? Please turn the stereo off. Okay. Imagine you are talking to your children and then you tell them, hey, uh, please turn the stereo off. Apaguen el, el, apaguen el stereo, por favor. Right? Please turn the stereo off. But what about, uh, let me see. But what about if we have some requests for neighbors or strangers? Definitely we are, or we need to be more polite, ¿verdad? If you want to ask for a favor to a stranger, tenemos que ser qué? Cortés, more polite. And also, we may use models. What models? Can, could, and would. When are we going to use can, could, and would? When we want to request for neighbors or strangers, okay? Look at this example. For example, I can use can, yes. I can use could, yes. I can use would, yes. Pero si ustedes ven acá, entre más es hacia abajo, it's more formal, more polite. Okay? Look at this example. Can you turn the music down? Yes. Also, could you close the door, please? Okay. And look at the other one. Would you, would you please take your garbage out? As you can see over there, we are using what? We are using um, requests. And that means that we are asking that to uh, strangers or people we respect. Okay. How about this one? Okay. Yes, we can use would you mind. What does would you mind mean? What does, does, what does it mean? Would you mind? ¿Qué ¿Podrías? Significa? ¿Ah? ¿Podrías? ¿Podrías? Mm. You're close. You're close. Would you mind? Arias? Arias? Mm, close, close, close. Mm -hmm. Quisieras? Oh, quisieras? No. Would you mind me? Podrías? Te importaría? Ajá. Would you mind me? Te importaría. Te importaría. Sí. Veamos el primer ejemplo. Would you mind turning the music down? ¿Te importaría bajarle el volumen a la música? Sí, te importaría. Would you mind turning the music down? Okay. And look at the other one. Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? So, every time we see would you mind, Significa, significa te importaría. Is that clear? Yes. Está claro. Yes. Okay, good. Bye. Okay, later I'm going to explain something else, but now I'm going to go to the next slide. Okay. Look. Yes, we can use please. Yes, we can use please when we are using, uh, let's say, when we are using. Um, models. We may add the word please at the end. ¿Cómo dice ahí? At the end of the request when using could. And we may add the word please in the middle of the request when we using when using would. Okay. Vamos a ver los ejercicios. Ejemplos. Look. This is very important that I want you to pay attention. I want you to pay attention to this one. Okay, listen. When we use would, definitely we need a gerund. Okay. Use of please at the end of the request. Look. 
would you mind? And then we have a gerund. ¿Qué es un gerundio? Vamos a ver. El verbo con el ing. Exactly. It's the ing uh, um, verb. So, it could be, puede ser negativo, and also it can be positive, right? So, would you mind? And then I need a gerund. Look at the other example. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a second. Eh, una pregunta. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, la B que está arriba en, en la primera sería U plus gerund plus B. What yes. is the meaning of B? Uh, v stands for verb. O sea, el gerundio del verbo. Okay, for verb. El gerundio yeah. del okay. verbo, yeah. The gerund plus um the gerund plus v that means el gerundio del verbo plus the complement okay, okay? good yeah. good question yeah. okay. okay look okay if you see here uh we have this one right i guess we don't have any problem with this one right this is very simple can you and then you ask for the favor could you the same would you please take your garbage out yes Okay, no hay ningún problema con eso. Probably, probably, this is a little bit, just, just do not forget this one. If you use, would you mind? Con solo que utilicen, would you mind? ¿Qué le va a pasar al verbo? The verb will go with ing. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Sí. Solo no se les olviden. Si utilizamos would you mind, ya sea positivo o negativo, el verbo va a ir en gerundio. ¿Qué significa en gerundio? Que va a llevar ing. ING. Ok, ING, exactly. Ok, vamos a ver. Excuse, yes. me, excuse me, please. I have a question. Uh -huh. Then, when, when, we, when we use uh, would you mind, specifically, uh, mind we have to to use ing yes mm -hmm. ah, okay Thank yeah. you, chair. so remember every time you use would you mind el verbo that is following then it's ing okay every time no importa si es negativo like in this case for example as you can see estas oraciones la primera y la segunda son positivas y el verbo lleva ing. La tercera es negativa. And also, it, ha, it is uh, with the ing verb. ¿Ok? Ok, vamos a ver. Vamos a practicar ahorita. Imagine you I, I want... Have a, I have a, a... A question. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, yeah. that's fine. I have a that's question. Fine. Mm -hmm. Ok, uh, for example, would you mean uh, turning the music down? Is uh, in, this, in this moment, is the sentence for action that doing this moment yes because with ing is a, a present continuous really mm -hmm. yes but just keep in uh, just keep in mind thank you Mira, for your question just keep in mind this one uh we associate the ing with the present continuous we associate the ing with the past continuous right con el pasado continuo yeah. o presente continuo por ejemplo yes. for example i'm watching tv I am teaching English classes. I am drinking. See, I don't know. Let me see my camera. Is it my camera on? Let me see. Okay, yeah. I'm drinking water. See? All right. In this case, forget about present continuous. Forget about present continuous. Forget about past continuous. I know, okay. I know that you are seeing ING, pero si ven acá es gerundio. Gerund. Le llamamos gerundio porque no sigue el mismo modelo como lo llevaría el presente continuo y el pasado continuo, ¿ok? Por eso le llamamos gerundio, porque es el ing. Uh -huh. Would you okay. mind turning? Thank you, teacher. Ajá. Vaya, solo que les voy a pedir un favor acá. Si ustedes están traduciendo, por ejemplo, would you mind turning, van a decir como, ¿te importaría encendiendo, apagando la música? No tiene sentido si lo traduzco, ¿verdad? Literalmente. O el otro, el segundo. 
Ah, ¿Te importaría cerrando la puerta, por favor? No tiene sentido, dicen ustedes, ¿verdad? Pero recuerden, eso que lleve el, el ING no se, no se traduce como ando, endo o yendo en español. ¿Ok? Por eso se llama un gerundio. Un gerundio puede ser un verbo, puede ser un nombre, dependiendo del lugar de cómo esté la palabra. ¿Ok? Espero que eso sea un poco, esté un poco claro, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. I got it, teacher. Oh, ok, good. Nice. Ok, vamos a ver si uh, now we can uh, make um, requests. I want you to think about some requests where you can use can and could. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Ok, you know what? Hagamos algo. Vamos a hacer dos oraciones de can, two sentences we could, uh, two sentences we would, you, would you mind, and would you mind not. Okay, and your notebook. And your notebook, please. Okay. O, o una oración. Para hacerlo un poco más rápido, let's do only one sentence. Una mejor, una oración, uno de cada una. Okay. En este momento voy a hacer las mías aquí, ¿ok? Let me see. Vamos a ver. In this moment, I'm going to work on my sentences. Ok, vamos a ver. Mi oración. Ok. Can you open the book, please? Ok. That's my sentence. Okay. Can you open? Okay, good. Vamos a ver la otra. Uh, could you, could you do me a favor, please? Okay. Those are my sentences. I'm, I'm typing my sentences. Okay. Only can and could. Ah, uh, no, one per each one. Uno de cada uno. Look what I'm doing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some requests. See? Mm -hmm. Lo de amarillo que ven en la pantalla es lo que yo estoy uh, agregando, ¿ok? Ok, ya tengo mis oraciones. Ahora voy a esperar las de ustedes. Those are my sentences. Okay, let me know when you finish. Finish. Okay, thank you. Uh, who, who said finish? Laura, is it you? Yes. Okay, good. Ok, just give me a second, Laura. Vamos a esperar a sus compañeros, ok? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ok, solo es una oración, uno por cada uno, ok?
¿Cómo vamos? ¿Solo Laura ha terminado? Finish teacher. Ok, Miguel, ok. Vamos a ver. Faltan nueve. Estoy esperando a nueve que me confirmen que ya terminaron las oraciones. I'm ready, teacher. Finish, okay. teacher. Cuatro, tengo cuatro, I ok. Think finish, teacher. Ok. I think. Ok. Five. Five out of, out of eleven. O sea que me hacen falta seis todavía, que están todavía trabajando. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Ok, José Jovito, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, vaya, vamos a ver ahorita. Ok, look at my examples that I have right here. The first example is, can you open? Look at the verb. Miren lo que le pasa al verbo. Nothing happened to the verb. Can you open the book, please? Ok. Look at the next, uh, the next example. Sí. Uh, could you do a favor, please? Could you do me? I was do me. Okay. Could you do me a favor, please? Sí. Look to the verb. Nada le pasa al verbo. Okay. Next. Would you go? Would you go to the kitchen? Vamos a ver. Could you go to the kitchen and get me some water, please? Would you go to the kitchen and give me some water? All right. Nothing happened to the verb. However, sin embargo, however, look at this one. Would you mind helping with helping me? Okay. Would you mind helping me with my homework? ¿Qué le pasó al verbo? We added I-N-G. Ok, and as you see, would you mind is positive. Ahora vamos a la negativa, would you mind. Would you mind not, not making a lot of noise. Ok, would you mind not making a lot of noise. Ok, good. Vamos a ver. Ahora vamos a, da, ustedes tienen que leerme las oraciones con Ken. What example do you have with Ken? Ken, can you? Mm -hmm. Mi teacher, Miriam. Yes, yes, yes. Can you help me? Okay, I, good. Uh -huh. Can you help me? I need to do my homework. Oh, God, good, good. Anyone else? Can you? Estamos dando las oraciones con can you. Can you? Me, Anyone me else? No, no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Escuché Laura. Okay, can you clean can the room, pick please? Up my keys? Okay, one at a time. Uh, Laura said, can you clean my... What, what do you say, Laura? I'm sorry. Can you clean your room, please? Oh, can you clean your room, please? Good. Now, next. Next. Me, me Osman, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Osman. Uh, can you give me the cell phone, please? Can you give me the cell phone, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good example. Huh? Thank you, Osman. Alguien más? Okay. Me, Jacqueline, teacher. Okay, Jacqueline, go. Jacqueline, can he, can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you repeat? Can you repeat, please? Oh, can you repeat, please? Okay. Solo algo que me gustaría <laughs> mencionar antes de que continuemos. Eh, aquí en you puede ir cualquier, cualquier qué, cualquier pronombre. Puede ser he, puede ser she. It can be they, it can be we, and it can be I. Por ejemplo, si ustedes están como reflexing, right? están reflexionando. Hmm, can I open the book? Como que están preguntando ustedes mismos, all right? You're asking yourself, all right? But good, thank you. Va, continuemos. Ahora vamos con could you. Vamos a ver, could you. Could you. Could you, could you. give me some water, please? Aha, uh -huh. could you give me some water, please? Good. Mm -hmm. sure. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. ¿Quién dijo ahí? Me, me, me. Mm -hmm. Brian. Okay, Brian, go, 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 Brian. Yeah. Tell me. Will you clean the bedroom? 
Oh, can you, could you clean the bathroom or the bedroom? Me, me, me Osman, teacher. Okay, go, go ahead, Osman. Could you cook the dinner for me, please? <laughs> okay, could you cook the dinner for me, please? Good. Vamos a otro ejemplo con could you. Miriam. Ah, Miriam. Miriam. Mm -hmm. in, in my case, I say my granddaughter. Could you pick up your shoes, please? Oh, good, good, good example. Thank you, Miriam. An another example? Mi Laura. Okay, Laura, go, Laura. Could he bring some fruit, please? Oh, could he bring some fruit, please? That's a good example. Good. ¿Quién más? Me, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, go. Could you tell me where I do, please? <laughs> Could you tell me what I do, please? Okay, good. Good. Uh -huh. Vaya. Ahora, hasta el momento no he escuchado a Egma, no he escuchado a Carlos, no he escuchado a José Jovito, no he escuchado a Fátima, ¿ok? Pero vamos a seguir con los otros ejemplos. All right, next. Now, now, would you. Vamos con would you ahorita. ¿Ok? Tell me example with, with, with you. Anyone? Me teacher, would... Jacqueline. Okay, Jacqueline, go Jacqueline. Would she dance with me? Ah, would she dance with me? Okay, good. Thank you, Jacqueline. Anyone else? Alguien más? Would... Uh... Me teacher, Miriam. Okay, Miriam. Would you open the windows? It's hotter would... here. Oh, okay. Would you open the window? It's hot or it's it's hotter in here. Okay, good. Next. Next, next. Me, me, me. Osman, teacher. Osman, and then, escuché, escuché a alguien más ahí. Después de Osman, ¿quién? Miguel. Miguel, okay. Osman, and then Miguel. Miguel. Uh -huh. Okay. Would you play soccer with the children? Ah, okay, good. Thank you. Next. Uh -huh. um, okay. Next, Miguel. Will you go to a store for a uh, uh, break? Uh, can you repeat? Uh, can you repeat? Or oh, would you repeat your sentence, please? Would you go to a store for a uh, break? Or uh, oh. buy bread? Oh, okay. Would you go to the store for bread? Bread, right? Bread. Yeah, bread. Bang. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you with that one. Okay. Si ustedes pueden ver, eh, la palabra could lleva una L, right? Lo mismo la palabra would. Si ustedes ven y si ustedes han analizado, I don't pronounce the letter L. L. I don't pronounce it. I don't say could. No menciono el could. ¿Saben por qué? Porque en la pronunciación de could, solo imagínense que no tienen esta letra L. Solo imagínense que no hay letra L ahí. Entonces sería... Could, ¿sí? Simple. Very simple. Could. The same happened with would. Solo imagínense que no hay letra L ahí. ¿Cómo sería entonces? ¿Cómo sería? Would. Would. Would, yeah. Would. Yeah. Porque uh, I have heard some of you saying like would. Would, como mencionando la L. The letter L is not pronounced. Okay, we don't pronounce the letter L. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, now we are going to move on to the next one. Would you mind? Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. I need volunteers. Miriam. Miriam. Carlos. And then Carlos. Miriam okay. and then Carlos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you mind doing your homework? Uh huh. Thank you. Next, Carlos. Would you mind giving giving me your money? <laughs> okay. Would you mind giving me your money? Okay. Good. Who else? ¿Quién más? You me, Adolfo. Adolfo, Adolfo, <laughs> Fatima. <laughs> Adolfo, Fatima, and then Miguel. Mi Osma. Miguel and Osma. Okay. 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 Would you mind going wrong with me? Would you mind? Going wrong with me. Oh, 
going running with me. Thank you, Fatima. Would you mind paying attention? <laughs> <laughs> ah, good example. Thank you. Next. Uh -huh. Me, Jacqueline, teacher. Okay, Jacqueline. Would you mind showing me your jeans? Okay, good. Good. Who else? Me parecía escuchar ahí. No sé si fue Miguel y Adolfo. Okay. ¿O ¿Quién fue que dijeron Miguel? Yeah. Okay, Miguel. Miguel. Me, me teacher. Who? Okay. Who me? Would you mean watching Miguel? Okay. Me, Miguel. Uh, would, would you mean watching your clothes? Oh, okay. Would you mind? Mind. Would you mind? Would you mind? Okay. Yes. Okay, now say it one more time. Would you mind? Yeah, could you say that one more time, please? Would you mind? Would you mind watching your clothes? Oh, good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Siguiente, next. Would you mind? Me, me, me teacher. Me, Osman. Oh, Osman. Okay, Osman. Would you mind, would you mind picking the toys? Ah, picking would you toys? mind picking the toys? Good. Next. Okay. Me, teacher, Jovito. Oh, go. good. It's good to hear you, Jovito. Okay, uh, would, would you mind working for the cat plane? <laughs> Good example. Good example. Thank you, Jose. Okay. Next. Okay. ¿Quién va? ¿Quién, quién dice? ¿Quién es next? Brian? Me, Laura. Oh, Laura. Okay. Would you mind keeping your dog out of the... the, the room, please? <laughs> That's an awesome example. Uh -huh. And I believe uh, your examples are the ones that you mostly use, right? Uh -huh. But thank you, Laura. Uh, Brian. Probably Brian is not there. Okay. Ahora vamos a los ne al negativo. Okay. Would you mind, but with negative, pero con negativo. Sentence. Sentences. Me, teacher. Miriam, go ahead. Miriam. Okay. Would you mind not making a lot of mess? Ah, okay, good. Thank you. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Mi Laura. Laura. Mi okay. Jacqueline, teacher. Okay, man. Jacqueline and then Laura. Mm -hmm. hey, would you mind not eating tonight? Ah, okay, good. Hey, Laura. Would you mind not calling me at morning? <laughs> in the morning, okay. Would you mind not calling me in the morning? Okay, good. In the morning. Yeah, thank you, Laura. I'm not gonna call you. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> yes. Someone else? Alguien más? Me, me, Osman, teacher. Okay, Osman. <clears throat> would you mind not working now? Oh, would you mind not working now? Okay, good. Someone else? Alguien más? Me, teacher, Miguel. Miguel. Mm -hmm. Me, Miguel. Okay, go ahead, Miguel. Would you mind? Would you mean not smoking here? Can you say it one more time, please? Would you mean not smoking here? Would you mind? Uh -huh. Would you mind? Uh -huh. uh, sorry, would you mind not smoking here? Okay, uh, gracias. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miguel. Uh -huh. Would you mind not? Would you mind not smoking in here? All right. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you for uh, giving me your sentences, okay? So now you know how to request, how to do some polite requests. Okay, look at the pictures in here and tell me where each um, request belongs to. Look at the first one. Would you mind helping me? Is it right or left? What de las dos es? Right or left? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about this one? Could you give me a pizza, please? Left. 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 Okay, good. Next. Can I borrow your phone? Mm -hmm. Right. Right or left? Right. 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 Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. There is a mistake in there. But anyway, 
Could you close the door? Uh, yeah, ah. right? Yeah, yeah. Left. Left. <laughs> okay, there is a, a, I made a mistake over there, but that's fine. All right, what about next one? May I borrow your pen? Left. Left. Left, vamos a ver. Yes. Could you please give me a balloon? Right. 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 Okay. Good. Now, let's go into practice. We're going to practice one more time. Match the request in column A with the appropriate responses in column B. Uh, then compare with a partner. We're not going to compare. We're just going to do it together. More than one answer may be possible. Okay, I need very, very, uh, I need volunteers. You say, oh, hey, teacher, I'm going to do number one. Hey, me, teacher, I want to do number two. Hey, teacher, I want to do hey, me, number three. Necesito voluntarios, seis volunteers, six volunteers. Me, me teacher, Who, me for teacher. number one. Number one, Miriam. Number two? Jacqueline. Good. Number three? Uh, Adolfo, good. Number four. Carlos. Carlos, okay. Number five. Who? Who, number five? Quien? Teacher. Mi Osman. Ah, Osman, okay. Number five. Y el último, number six. Come on, solo es una más. Uh -huh. Fátima. Fátima, ok, ok. Gracias, Fátima. Mientras tanto, ellos cor, uh, responden o uh, they think about the, the right answer, el resto va a estar tratando de hacerlas todas, ok? Ok, just think about it. Me deja saber el number one when it's ready. If you're ready, number one, let me, me know. I'm ready, huh? I'm ready. Ok, I'm ready. tell me. Read the, okay. the the request and the answer. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Could you lend me twenty dollars? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't have any cash. Okay, that is letter. Letter D. Letter D. Vamos a ver. D. Yes, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't have any cash. Good. Congrats. Number two. Number Me two. Teacher. Okay, Jacqueline. Sí. Can you make me a sandwich? Sure. Do you want anything to drink? Uh -huh. Better be teacher. Yes. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Jacqueline. Number You're three. You're welcome, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number three. Can you help me with my homework? Okay. I think it's letter E. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Yes, I'm very sorry. I mean, I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Good. Number four. Would you mind not sitting here? Mm -hmm. I think the answer is letter C. Letter C. Sorry, I didn't realize the seat was taken. Okay, let me see. Yes, good. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Number five. Would, would you please turn down the TV? Mm -hmm. I think letter A. Sorry, we didn't know we were so loud. Mm, okay, vamos a ver. No, it's no. sure. Oh. No problem. Okay. I would be glad to. And the last one, okay. number six. Uh, would you mind speaking more quietly? Uh, letter, I don't know, I don't know, maybe letter. The last one. Solo hey. hay una, solo hay una que va Sorry, we didn't know we were so low. <laughs> yes, okay. Like, hey, would you mind speaking more quietly, please? Oh, sorry, we didn't it know we were difficult. so loud. <laughs> yes, it was difficult. Okay, listen. I had noticed something, uh, and I'm going to do this uh, in this class. Let me see. Yes. Um, in, in English, when we use the word, this word, how do you say this word? Esta palabra. ¿Cómo pronuncian esta palabra? How do you pronounce this word? 
You. 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 Teacher. Okay. Okay. Because I heard, I mean, I have heard some of you saying you. Would you? Would you mind speaking? Remember, in English, the letter Y is not ya, como en español. Like uh, yuca, like yo-yo. Okay? La letra uh, Y, the letter Y, is pronounced you. For example, look, uh, voy a escribir en el chat ahorita, voy a escribir en el chat. Let me see. For example, the word, see, we don't say yes, 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 yes. We say, or we should say yes. Como que si fuera así, miren, sin la letra Y. Yes, yes. Ok, lo mismo pasa con, con you. Ok. Some of you said, would you, would you, would you, cuando debería ser, you, ¿sí? E you, e you, ¿ok? Lo mismo con esta otra palabra, look, the color. A lot of people say yellow, yellow, ye, ye, yellow, but it's not ye, yellow, it's Yellow, yellow, como que sea así, ve. yellow, sí, yellow, ok, estamos claro ahí, pronunciation tip, yes, yes, teacher, thank you, yes, teacher, okay, thank you, it's okay, uh, and we make it to the last slide of the class. Okay, I know it's time to go. It's almost time. Okay, tell me what do you learn today? What do you learn today? Yes. Uh -huh. ¿Qué aprendieron hoy? ¿Alguien me puede decir? Maybe a new word. Sí, teacher. Uh -huh. For me, tell teacher. Me. Mm -hmm. I learned today about uh, about when I I I use uh, gerund oh. combine combine with with uh, would you would you mind? Mm -hmm. I yes. I have to use uh, gerund. Oh, good, good. Thank you, Miriam. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Teacher, I yes. learned to say. No te importaría en inglés. Oh, is, look at the chat. Mind? Look at the chat. Would you mind? And then I need a gerund and plus a compliment. Okay. So, okay. So, do you have any other question today? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? I, I learned in chair uh, to, to do formal question. Oh, uh, formal uh, requests. Formal request. 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 Yeah, because request. even though es como una pregunta, pero es un, basically es como un request, un, una demanda que estamos haciendo, right? Como un, pidiendo un favor, request. Ok, no estamos preguntando, sino que basically lo que estamos haciendo es haciendo. Estamos solicitando, un, teacher. Ajá, solicitando, yes, solicitando un favor. Uh -huh. Good. Ok, okay. Uh, if there is no more question, or if there is no more comments, I would like to say thank you. Thank you for coming to today's class. Uh, you know, it was pretty short and I didn't feel it, to be honest. I feel like uh, I just came in and then I'm leaving. <laughs> so um, if you don't have any, any other question, I want to say thank you for coming today. I know it's Friday and you were like, oh, no, I got to go to class. But see, it's 9, almost it's 9 p.m. and it's time to go. Okay. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. And I hope to see you on next Monday. Okay? So, bye-bye-bye. Spend Thank time with your family. Thank you, Thank you. Bye. Take care. Thank you.